Hi guys. Today we're here to, I, I'd like to talk about Nina Beauty Influencer and Gypsy Rose. Gypsy decided to get uber messy as she usually does and talk about Nina in this really demeaning manner. And I've said before, I don't watch all of Nina's content because sometimes it's just hard for me to keep up with. There's so much happening and she uploads a lot. So I don't watch everything that she posts, but from what I've seen, I've not seen her step out of bounds, be uber cruel or hateful towards Gypsy. She's somebody like me, just opinionated and has her TikTok where she puts up her opinions. It's pretty cut and dry and she's, you know, a little sassy, a little snarky, and I'm always here for that as well. But Gypsy has really taken issue with Nina and most recently Gypsy put out a video saying how Nina is the one that is panini pressed because she doesn't have a chad which by the way a chad is um I, I don't think that Gypsy realizes that calling your little boy toy a chad is not a way to compliment him um and I also thought it was funny because a chad can be used to describe a piece of, piece of waste material. Um, I'll put the definition on the screen. It's just either way. But she calls Ken a chad and then wants to basically say that Nina doesn't have a man. Oh, honey, I am so not threatened by you. My man wouldn't touch you with a 10 foot pole. You're just mad because I have a Chad. And last time I checked, you don't have a man. So looks like you're the one that's panini pressed. Gypsy Rose jumping from man to man to man is not a badge of honor. That's not something that any of us um, with more than a few brain cells um, look at to admire or want to achieve. Nobody wants to jump and wreck homes and divorce and call off engagements and separate and be messy the whole f time all over social media. It's embarrassing. And for her to prop herself up on this pedestal because she has a Chad and trying to insinuate that she's better because she has a man. And first of all, being in a relationship does not define anybody. And if you are using being in a relationship or being married as something that makes you better than somebody who might have an opposing opinion about you, then it just goes to show how emotionally unintelligent Gypsy Rose is because nobody cares whether you're in a relationship, a situationship, a freaking divorce, a separation. I don't care what you're doing. That has nothing to do with you being a better person or you being a more intelligent person or you having a better moral compass. In fact, the sloppiness that Gypsy Rose has published on this internet, um, I think gives us all something to not want to be like. Gypsy reminds me of people that I've known <clears throat> in my real life where she doesn't, like she's unable to be on her own. And I think her history shows that everything from Nick to what she, uh, all the guys she, you know, talked to during her time in prison. She is somebody who, she doesn't know herself and she is so insecure in who she is that she can't function if she doesn't have somebody in her life, no matter what the title is. So for somebody who wants to run around and say how confident they are and how unbothered and they don't want to be a celebrity, they don't want the attention, yet you are doing all of this nonsense that she is doing, she just continues to tell people that she is not somebody who deserves the platform. 
that she's standing on and she does not deserve to get recognition and respect from people online or in real life, in my opinion. So if Gypsy wants to play tit for tat with people and be sloppy and petty and sit up there and act as if she's better than anyone else because she has what she's calling a chad, girl, nobody cares. And nobody cares because you have shown that you have no moral, zero morals. Nobody wants Ken. Nobody is jealous of Ken. Nobody cares that, you know, you're, you're sitting here doing this world tour as if you're just the, you're, you're, you're a f joke. You're a joke, Gypsy Rose. Um, she can be sloppy and she can be petty and I will be here to talk about it, especially when it comes to her going after people that don't deserve to be gone after. Let's play fair and focus on people that are actually going out of bounds. If you're going to give somebody attention, at least make it somebody who you have an argument against. And in my opinion, I haven't seen anything that Nina has done that would deserve Gypsy Rose to sit there and be so immature and just cruel for no reason. And on top of it, she's being cruel and she doesn't even have a valid argument to stand on. Nobody cares if you're in a relationship, you're a home wrecker, you killed your mother, and you are uh, gallivanting around accepting praise and attention from anyone who will give it to you. Why will you claim that you don't want the attention? Hypocrite, sloppy behavior, I'm done. But anyway, I had a few extra minutes. I wanted to talk about this, more content coming. And yeah, thank you all for the recent... Um, support and kind comments. It's been a little hectic with our move, but things are starting to settle and it's all good from here. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like in the comments. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.